Welcome back, everybody. Today's show is all about how to do it, how you can do it yourself. And Chef Ken Hall is here, and he's going to show us how to deal with a mango. Good morning. Good to see you. Well, good morning, and thank you for having me back again. Absolutely. We love it when you come on. Uh, chef Ken is a serious chef, went to the Culinary Institute of America. He knows his stuff, for sure. And when well, we've got questions you. with, uh, you know, odd things that we all have trouble dealing with, I always give Ken a call. I love mangoes, I really do. I do too. But they can be a little buggers, you know what I mean? Yes, they can. Mm -hmm. they, um, they're they actually just going out of season right now. So the ones that we're getting in the store have been warehoused for a while. Typically May through September into October is the season. Okay. This is a native fruit from India. This is where the mango tree came from. How I look is they say once they start to turn, I grabbed a few here so that I can kind of show you a little bit how they start to go from green to yellow to red. All of these are just starting to turn. Now this one hasn't turned, so what I do is I do just a little firmness test and you just, you want a little give. If it's too soft, then it's gonna be brown on the inside mm -hmm. and mushy. Mm -hmm. And this is one of those ones that you really don't know until you cut into it, unfortunately. True. <laughs> so I always buy, it's like avocados. If your you know, recipe calls for one, get two buy or three. Two. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. exactly. So, but these seem really pretty perfect. Right. Rock hard, is, they're not gonna taste good. And Rock taste, hard, yeah. you wanna leave them on your counter and okay. let them ripen until they're soft. Okay. Um, you don't wanna refrigerate them because that'll, that'll They'll turn color on the outside, but the inside will never get that nice yellowish color. Okay. Another trick, just like you do with all of your stone fruit, because this has a big pit in it, mm -hmm. put it with a banana and a brown paper bag on your cupboard and let it sit overnight. And that gas from the banana, just like you ripen really? peaches and nectarines and things like that, will help to ripen a mango oh, as well. Good, good tip. Okay, so we get this baby home. These look perfectly ripe. How in the world do we uh, dice okay. them without losing half of that? I always, uh, you know, I'm afraid I'm going to waste half of it. Right. The first thing that I like to do is the stem end, okay. I cut it to where I can see which direction the pit is. Okay. Now you can see which direction the pit is. Mm -hmm. Now if I'm peeling it, I'm going to cut both ends okay. so that it's stable. Got it. And I'm just going to bring my knife. You can use a vegetable peeler. And all I do is I just kind of look where I'm at. Okay. And we got lucky on this one. This is a nice one. This is nice and yellow. It's beautiful. And we're going to peel it down this way. Whenever I go on a tropical vacation, I, I could have those every day, you know. Oh, yeah, and they, they taste, taste completely so different there yeah, than so they do good. here. So good. But now we can see where our pit is. Now, the pit is kind of shaped like this. Mm -hmm. It's an odd shape, so it's hard to, yeah. Right, so we're going we're gonna to bring it down, and then you're going to start on an angle and then round it back. So you're kind of rubbing against the pit there. Right. Okay. And so we're going to kind of go this way. Okay. Now, on the ends... I just bring my knife off to the side this way and get that last little bit. You make it look so easy and then that you can take that and nibble it back in the kitchen. Right. You know, get a little... <laughs> right. <laughs> and another way that you can do this for like presentation, you'll see a lot of these in magazines, cookbooks, things like that, is you cut it this way and then what you're going to do is you're going to score it. Like, like an avocado. Sometimes you'll, and you kind of turn it inside out? Yep, and okay. then you're going to turn it inside out so you can score it this way. That's if you want to dice rather than a slice. Or if you want to put it on a fruit plate. Oh, okay. You know, how pretty is that on oh, a fruit plate? Oh, that's gorgeous. You know, you can put this right out on a fruit plate and then the people can come and just pull it off yeah. like this and eat it this way. So there's there's a couple of different ways. But you waste that ways. in there, that's the thing. Again, you right. have to take that back to the kitchen and nibble on it yourself. Right. Okay, all right, now we're going to use these mangoes in a recipe. What are we making? Um, what I, I, I just like simple salsas, mm -hmm. um, and tropical fruit is wonderful. So mm -hmm. what I did was I, I grilled off some chicken breast. Okay. So I've got one clove of fresh garlic okay. in here. I'm going to put about a quarter of a cup of soy sauce okay. in here. I, I think that the, the oriental flavors go very well with your tropical fruits. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take some fresh ginger, which I grated up. Mm, it smells good. I'm going to take a little olive oil. We're going to take about a tablespoon of brown sugar, put a little brown sugar in there. I'm going to take just a little squeeze of lime. Now I always roll my lime first and then I just cut the end off so I can just get just that little bit mm -hmm. without wasting the whole lime. Mm -hmm. We're going to mix this together and this is kind of going to be our dressing. Mm. 
Even the dressing smells really nice and light. So this is great for this time of year, just nice and light. This would be perfect, uh, you know. And this is a great marinade for grilling season. Okay. You know, this is the time of year you want to start busting right. out the grill Yeah, and I stuff. can't wait. Haven't done it yet, but I'm, I'm about to. Okay, so that's our marinade in okay. there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take the mango. And these are already cooked chicken breasts, so it's kind of an after marinade, right? Right. Because this is going to be more of a cold salad. Okay. Or light lunch type of thing. Sure. So we're gonna dice the mango. I actually have been craving stuff like this for dinner. It's been such a long winter that this for dinner looks really oh, nice. Oh this and is light. yeah it's it's a nice super light dinner uh -huh. with a nice salad even with some steamed rice. The yeah. next recipe I'm gonna do we're gonna use pineapple with some fresh basmati rice mm. nice and light. So we're gonna put our mango in here and then to this we're gonna add about a quarter of a, a red onion okay. diced up. Get your little spatula. We're going to take about a third of a cup of fresh cilantro. Okay. We're going to take some macadamia Ooh, nuts chopped up. A little crunch. I like a little that. Crunch. Yum. Just like you use your water chestnuts, yeah. I like to yeah. use either um, sunflower seeds, macadamia nuts, pecans, things along that line. Now we're going to use the rest of that lime. Oh, this looks fantastic, Ken. And juice this lime up a little bit. Mm. And then as this sits, all of the natural juice from the mango is going to seep out. It's kind of when you, you toss your strawberries for strawberry shortcake sure. and you get all the juice. Macerates or whatever. Yep, the, the, the word? Same, yeah. same thing here is we're going to get all of that. Mm. Now you could take this, um, these chicken breasts and grill them. Uh -huh. What we're going to do is we're going to take some fresh cilantro here onto the plate. Okay. Oops. Okay, that one doesn't want to be on the plate, so <laughs> we're going to okay. take that one off. And then we're going to put our chicken breast with a little bit of the marinade there. Mm. And then we're going to take some of our salsa, and we're going to put just a little bit of salsa oh my over gosh, the Ken. top. That looks fantastic. Nice, light, summer dinner. And there you go. There's a beautiful, dinner. light dish wow. using your mangoes. And as you said, you could grill those chicken breasts and then have the salsa made ahead of time and really right. wow everybody if companies Absolutely. come over. Now we know how to deal with a mango. Coming up, Ken's going to show us how to deal with a pineapple, which uh, those can be tricky. Those are, you know, a lot to cut and, you know. Well, and how to pick a ripe one. Yeah, exactly. So we'll show you how we'll turn it into a great recipe, too. So don't go anywhere. We'll be back 